Augie103 in the Discord wants to know, when does increasing battery size reduce flight time? Is it possible to calculate that peak point? Um, Augie, that, I, I don't think that's a simple calculation, but it is an interesting phenomena. Um, as you go to larger battery, you get longer flight time because a larger battery has more capacity, but you also get more weight. And so that's a nonlinear curve. The more battery you add, the more battery weight you have to lug around until at a certain point, adding more battery doesn't really help much. I think the actual distinction is when the battery is so heavy that the quadcopter has unacceptable thrust to weight ratio, that's when you stop. So if you have a thrust to weight ratio of less than, let's say, two to one or maybe three to one. I think it gets really hard to maneuver the quadcopter acceptably. Um, so let's, let's just think about that. Hold on. So if we take a five inch mini quad and a good, uh, you know, a round number is you make it around a thousand grams of thrust from a motor. You have four motors, you have 4,000 grams of thrust. Now, if you're going for a three to one thrust to weight ratio, that means you could have uh, 1,333 grams. Uh, let's say you take off 500 grams for the quad. That leaves you 833 grams of battery. Um, that's insane. That's four typical batteries. I mean, at that point, I think it would get into the air, but it would be basically unflyable. Like, all you could do is really hover it, and that's about it. Okay? So, so I think that's over the line. What about, like, a... Uh, what about a 5 to 1? That's an 800 gram battery. No, 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 sorry. Minus 500 grams of quad. That's a 300 gram battery. I mean, that's, that's flyable. So I think maybe somewhere between a three and a four to one thrust, thrust to weight ratio is where I would say your battery is too heavy. But the thing is, if the quad can fly, a bigger battery probably seems like it would give you longer flight time. You just would fly badly. Interesting question. The other thing is at a certain point, the motors will be overworked and you will start to lose motor efficiency because they'll get super hot. Uh, at a certain point, you're going to be near full throttle and the motors will just be overworked. And then, then your flight time definitely will start dropping off.